want to do his share in taking care of our planet and cook delicious meals? Stay in this video! Reduce, reuse, recycle. Responsibly get your meals. Hi, I'm Mingrid. Thank you for visiting my cooking channel, The Early Fair Cuisine. Our mission from now on is to know more about the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations, that guide us to focus our actions to transform our world in this decade 2020-2030. The best decision you can make to start a positive change to transform our world is to start a sustainable and responsible vegan lifestyle if you don't have it already. Minimize Minimize and separate solid waste at home. Invite your family to apply these ideas. And optimize the natural resources like water. To know more about the SDGs, I leave the link of the United Nations in the description of this video. I'm also leaving the link of the playlist Quick Vegan Meals, where you can find easy recipes and you find detailed information of each SDG. Follow me on Instagram to find more ideas about taking care of the planet and short recipes. If you're vegan or if you want to start a vegan lifestyle or if you have it already, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to receive these ideas of taking care of the planet and my recipes. Now let's continue with the recipe. Oat and quinoa yogurt. Oat and quinoa yogurt. For approximately two quarts of yogurt, you need the following ingredients. 1 cup of oat flakes, 1 cup of quinoa, 1 cup of coconut milk, 1 cup of plant-based yogurt, 6 cups of water. Directly into the blender glass pour the oat flakes and the quinoa and 6 cups of water. You don't need to soak oats or quinoa into water. Blend for 45 seconds or a little longer if necessary. Now, strain the milk using a strainer and a piece of cloth. I got a little distracted with the camera, but I, I suggest that you use the cloth underneath the strainer to avoid large lumps on the cloth and it's easier to drain the milk through the piece of cloth. Wait in the next videos how to make soy rice, coconut and oat milk. All right, we have the milk ready. Bring the milk to a boil to kill bacteria that can multiply it in the yogurt and spoil it. Add the coconut milk to dye the milk a little white because the oatmeal or the quinoa after cooking turns a little translucent and gray. You must stir constantly to avoid lumps in the milk. Remove from heat after two minutes of constant bubbles. Cover to avoid the formation of milk skin and let it cool down. Transfer to the recipient you are going to ferment the yogurt. For this recipe, I am using the yogurt settings of an instant pot for 20 hours and I am setting a second batch in a glass jar overnight in the oven. If you have a thermometer, check the temperature constantly. We want the temperature to drop to 105 degrees Fahrenheit, maximum 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The other technique, if you don't have a thermometer, you can put the top of your hand and check the heat if you can stand 30 seconds so the temperature is right for you to mix the starter. I have here a vegan yogurt that I have made before. So mix it constantly and really slow. Okay, so I separated the two batches, one in the oven overnight and another one for 20 hours in the instant pot. Okay, we have the yogurt ready. Let's open it and smells like yogurt it has the texture and i'm checking the one the other batch that we have overnight in the oven exactly the same 20 hours 
and it works the same exactly the same so we have yogurt with and without electric pot for now on is optional how you want to consume your yogurt I have added a tablespoon of vanilla and I forgot to tell you to give some sweetness and without adding sugar additional I'm going to show you how I prepare my yogurt for the week 10 portions out of two quarts of yogurt I take a cup of frozen um, very neatly with one quarter cup of sugar and I bring to a simmer for one minute then I have some canned fruits diced canned fruits and some dry fruits such as figs dates and golden raisins okay so the first option is the berry mix with some mix of dry fruits and yogurt put the lid on and to the fridge a second option is with peaches some golden raisins yogurt and to the fridge third option we have pears some figs yogurt cover and to the fridge now let's mix a little peaches pears dates yogurt and to the fridge i have here i think this is my favorite no sugar so it is cashews almonds yogurt and to the fridge next day is soft and really good this is another mix another mix this is peaches apricots and pistachios awesome yogurt and i ate it right away that was the only one that i ate right away the rest i saved them in the fridge for the rest of the week this is another option so in, in the portion of a class i will say that that's a cup of yogurt mix one tablespoon of chia seeds and let it sit for at least three hours and you can eat it as a nice dessert okay so i'm showing here four glass jars three tupperwares and the two chia puddings will be nine plus the one I ate right away that was the peaches with the pistachios so ten portions out of two quarts in the link above you'll find fruitcake bars rich in protein subscribe and remember to click on the bell to be the first to receive these easy healthy recipes and enjoy Thank you for watching until the end of this easy recipe. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like, comment, and share. I hope you are minimizing and separating solid waste at home. Bye-bye.